Hello students. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about this cardinal number of sheet. Here, this cardinal number of sheet that means what? First of all, we have to know this one. Here, cardinal number of sheet that means the total number of elements that is contained by the given sheet. If any sheet contains the elements, and if we count the total number of elements contained by the given sheet, then that is said to be cardinal number of sheet. So we can see that the total number of elements elements contained contained by the given set is known as is known as cardinal number of set we call this as cardinal number of set suppose example here example suppose a has the elements a b c d e f okay we find here that the, the set a it has the elements a b c d e f up to e f okay then we have to count that how many elements are contained by the given this set a so 1 2 3 4 5 6 we find that total number of elements contained by this set a that is 6 so we write it as an a equals 6 where this n that is that represents the cardinal number of the given set okay so here we find that the cardinal number of set a that is 6 and we shouldn't write here curly bracket or any bracket okay we just have to write the number we have to count the number of elements contained by the given set and that number should be written like this okay so we have to consider that whenever we are going to find the cardinal number of given set then in that condition we must have to write n a small n not capital n okay so we have to write n a equals 6 suppose another example b set has the elements 3 5 7 9 here also we can easily count the total number of elements contained by the set b so here cardinal number of set b equals how many elements are here 1 2 3 4 so the cardinal number of set b that is okay now this is uh, we have understood about this cardinal number of set now after this now i'm going to teach you that how to find the or how to derive the formula so that we can easily derive the different formula for different condition okay so for that i am going to tell you that uh, in the case of disjoint set what will be the formula in the case of overlapping set what will be the formula i am going to explain all this okay with the, the given diagram also using this brain diagram also i am going to explain all these things okay so <clears throat> okay first of all we have to make the table okay let me consider that this side we uh, consider only for the overlapping set and for that side this one set so all of you you must have to make in the same way okay so i am going to write here make two tables where in the left hand side i am going to write here overlapping set overlapping set and in right side i am going to write here disjoint set disjoint set okay so now at first we have to find the union okay now how to find the union of the given sets if only two sets are given okay then in that condition how to find the, 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 the formula for the given Venn diagram so we are going to find a young a union b suppose we are given the two sets that is a and b then here in our overlapping set i told you that in previous video that which portion is the union i have explained about this a b 
okay look at here here two sets are given a and b and this one is our universal set okay and if we are going to find this m a union b then we have to see that how many formula that we can derive from the given Venn diagram okay so look at here I told you that this portion, this portion and this portion all these three portion first, second and third this was the union so we can write it as first formula for this M A union B equals what when we say this portion we can say this portion only this portion up to here this portion only ok we can call this as what a minus b n a minus b or n a only you can write any one so i am writing here n a only it means there n and a small o it means n a only we read it as n a only okay i have taken this portion plus i am going to add this portion so what is the name for the this portion this portion it means it is the intersection so write here m a intersection b okay and later one this portion so what we call this portion this portion this is our n b only or we can say n b minus a we can write any one so i we got that one formula for this n a union b that is n a only plus n a intersection plus n b one okay so this is our first formula for the a union b similarly second one another formula for the same case that is n a union b here if we consider this whole portion then this portion that is n a so right here n a okay and similarly this whole portion what is the name for this whole portion that is m b so right here m b okay so i know we have written here that this portion whole that is m a and this portion whole that is m b and we got that this portion this portion that comes two times that means it comes either with the a as well as with the b also but the union says that the elements that should be list out in only one time that should not be repeated okay but we find that this portion that comes two times it comes with along with a also along with b also it means that we have to subtract that portion one portion so what is the name of this portion that is intersection so minus n a intersection b it means that from the total sum of this n a plus n b from these two sums if we subtract this portion intersection we can obtain the value of n a union b so this is our second formula now the third one third one now if we consider the whole portion then what is the name of this whole portion that is the universal set okay so from this whole portion if we subtract this portion the outer portion of this union this one then we got the result as union so whole portion what is the name for this whole portion that is n u whole portion that means the total number of elements contained by this rectangle that is n u yes. if we subtract this portion so what is the name of this portion that is n a union b complement n a union b complement so from total value if we subtract this portion then we got the result for n a union b okay so here we got that we have obtained the three formula for the a union b and on the basis of the question you are asked you have to solve or you have to think which one is the best formula to solve that problems okay you should not have to remember this one if you can have the concept for this then you can easily derive the formula and you will be able to use uh, that which formula is suitable for the given condition okay so in this way you have to find out the formula now similarly in the same case 
if you are given the disjoint set, then in that condition, how to find the A union B? Suppose here, okay, for disjoint set, now here. Again, we are considering two sets that is A and B, A set, B set, A, this one is our B. And I told you that for the union, that means the total elements contained by the given set, that is the union, that means this portion and this one, okay, so this portion and this one. It shows that it is the portion for the A union B. So we can write here the first formula that is M A union equals. What is the name of this set? This portion that is N A. So right here N A. And this portion that is N B plus N B. And uh, if we add these two portions, then we got the union. We don't have any common elements here because in this transfer we don't find any common elements. It means that the formula for n a union b that will be n a plus n b. Sometimes uh, you might be asked a question that in which condition n a union b that equals to the total sum of n a plus n b. Then uh, simply you have to say that if the given two sets are this one set then n a union b equals n a plus n b you have to explain that one. now similarly here another formula here again we can find uh, derive another formula okay now we have to think that the whole portion what is the whole portion what is the name or uh, this whole portion that denotes the cardinal number of universal set that means n u so from total if we subtract this portion this outer portion what we call this outer portion this is the complement of a union b so minus n a union b complement that means from the total value if we subtract this a union b complement we can obtain the value for this n a union b okay now here we just have the two formula for the distance set in distance set uh, to derive the value of this n a union b we just have two formula so we can uh, we have to use these formulas according to the question according to the given condition of the question okay now here now we are going to discuss about the intersection okay so here okay now intersection number two n a intersection b okay so again draw here Venn diagram the two sets that are a set a and set b a b okay now here this intersection intersection that means this portion only only this portion okay that means the common portion so now how to derive the formula for this n a intersection b n a intersection b okay so here in your data in union a union b i have derived the formula that n a union b equals n a only plus uh, n a intersection b plus n b only second one n a union b equals n a plus n b minus n a intersection b in previous that uh, in a n a union b we have derived this okay so here here also we find that n a intersection b okay so uh, that is something as the equation also we can derive the formula it will be easy for us okay to find out the formula so i am taking here okay from this we are solving the value for n a intersection b suppose that it remains the same sign and if we take both these value to this side then their sign will be changed so its value will be n a union b minus n a only minus n 
b only that means if we take to this side it will be minus and here uh, this also then it will be also minus so n a intersection b equals n a union b minus n a only minus n b only another formula for this one on the basis of second one if we take this value this a intersection b to this side then its sign will be changed so n a intersection b equals now what are the values here n a plus n b now we have to take it to that side then its sign will be changed so here it has a positive sign so if we take here to that side its sign will be negative so minus n a union b so we just have the two formula okay so we have to use this formula uh, according to the given condition of the question now here in this one set do we find any common elements in this one set no obviously no it was that in this one set we don't have the formula for this a intersection b and because we don't have the common elements so it means no intersection no intersection we don't find it, uh, intersection in this line okay okay i think that uh, we have understood about this okay so about this uh, how to derive the formula for n a union b and uh, n a intersection b uh, for this overlapping set as well as for the distance set after that you have understood and you must have to try it yourself and uh, don't consider only the name of the set as a b you can also think of another name as a p q m n anything you can think that one okay so for this uh, video only we have uh, discussed about this two that is a union b and n a intersection and in next video i will explain about the other formula also till then okay thank you class